So this was just released in the last couple of days. This is our game controller bag. It is absolutely wonderful. <laughs> Who ever thought of having a game controller? I have no Look idea. Bag, but it's just amazing. And the other side. It has some handy pockets. So there's on the outside oh, of the bag. bag as well. There's one zipper section here. It's this deep. And there's another one on the yeah, front. So I'll actually. put that on the table and we can have a look at it. Do you yeah. want to open it up, Alison? It's another one on the front, under the flap here. So you can have a great little spot on the outside of your purse to put your phone or car keys or something that you need to get to a lot. What have you got in here? A game controller, <laughs> Alison. And cord. So okay. it's fully lined. Yeah. No raw seams. So we we're actually using it for what we what, what called it for, but you could call it. <laughs> yeah, you, you could use it for anything. It's take it an out absolutely out wonderful it. bag. And I think Alyssa did a great job picking the fabric for this. Isn't it she just have really, really suits colours. the the theme. We've used a bit about PU faux leather. Yeah, that really that really adds dimension to it, doesn't it? Looks metallic, so and there's great broad. So did you did you top. have you said that there's nine there's nine there's nine blocks. You have to sew there's nine six blocks. Yeah, there's six yep. different yeah, you sew nine blocks to make construct the bag. There's six different blocks and three of them you you um use twice. So, so twice. So yeah. this one here on the front of the bag is repeated on the back. And then the bottom one here is also repeated on the back. the back. And then this side panel. You make two of them for each side. Make two of yeah. those. And I love how we've got the the strap down there. Keeps it out of this seam up here. Sometimes yeah, it can really get good, a bit thick it? and everything trying to put something in there. And just so. the way um, the embroidery just gives it dimension. Yep. It's just wonderful. And we've just got magnetic clasps there. This is like Tetris. It is, isn't it? So I've got game. that game right. Probably not. Yep, so that's really good. So that can be made in a 6x10 and a 7x12. So this one was made in a 6x10. So We're also saying it's not for beginner sewers. Intermediate. Although if you're a beginner, you can give it a go. But our recommendation is to be of an intermediate level. Mm. And it be any than... level machine embroiderer. That's right. Because all the blocks are just applique box. They're quite simple to make in the hoop. But the actual construction of the bag. The assembly on the sewing machine. Yep. But once again, our instructions are so good and there's a photo at every step. Yep. So that you should... If you follow it step by step and don't miss out any um, of the instructions, you'll end up with this beautiful bag. Yeah, it's gorgeous. That's called our game controller bag.